Thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. <laughs> So today I am going to show you how you could do a natural, neutral, easy look using browns. I think I'm going to do two or three different looks because I can just add right to the colors. And I decided to use my Iconic London's um, eyeshadow palette. I have a story behind this palette if you haven't been with me for very long. I started my YouTube channel two years ago almost two years ago. No, this month. It was two years ago. I wanted to do makeup and reviews. So my very first mystery box that I bought off of Etsy had this palette in it. And at the time I was still doing just mainly brown looks. Every once in a while, purple looks. It was before you could say that I oh, got over the whole I'm too old for color and played with color because now color is my favorite. But here is the palette that I'm going to use today. And I'm going to swatch each color that I use before I use it. So the first color that I'm going to use is called In the Nude. And there's that color. It's pretty... Hmm. It's going to be my base color, so that's a good thing. And I just put it all over my eye. I did go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on because I wanted to show you like what it will look like after. So I put my blush and my bronzer. I didn't put no highlight on today because we're going to do a more natural look. I did take my lightest shade of red lipstick because I love putting red lipstick on when I do all brown looks. Rather, it's a light brown or a dark brown or a smoky eye. I just really enjoy it. So I'm gonna get my base done really quick and then we'll move on. So I'm not really sure why we put a base on. I haven't figured that out doing this whole makeup thing, but I like it. So the next color that I'm gonna use is called Ultimate Tan. There's that color. That's what that looks like. Let's see, pretty buildable. I am going to use this shade and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cover my whole lid, but I'm going to kind of smoke it out a little bit too. So let me start down here. I'm going to take it up right to my crease right here where you see it, my eyelid like dipping in. Because that's where you're going to want to smoke it. And you have to blend your eyeshadow. So sometimes it goes really easy and sometimes you have to blend it forever. It just kind of depends on the palette. Now before I got into doing the YouTube channel or doing my YouTube channel, um, I only bought drugstore makeup or Dollar Tree makeup. And there's nothing wrong with that. I still love Wet n Wild and Elf and LA Girls. I used L'Oreal and CoverGirl. But when I started doing my unboxings and buying mystery boxes, I did get quite, quite a few new eyeshadow palettes and the majority of them are mid to upper like I don't know what you'd consider it like mid to upper priced like not low end but high end makeup and I do tend to use them more than I would my um like my dollar store makeup because I just have it on hand and now that I have grandchildren, if I'm playing with my makeup and they want to play with makeup with me or put makeup on, I still get a use out of my 
palette, my cheaper palettes, because I let them use those to go ahead and put their makeup on me or on themselves. I honestly don't need any more makeup, but I'm keep buying it. But I'm thinking about, I'm just so undecisive. I change my mind every day. But I'm thinking about just getting rid of all of my subscription boxes, which I have one left and I don't even open it on my channel anymore. I don't know what happened, but it was during the accident and I just like couldn't, just couldn't. Okay, so here is one look. I'm going to throw some mascara on so that way you can get an actual vision with the mascara, what it would look like, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I threw some mascara on real quick so you could get a better visual. Just a really easy peasy, simple one color, well, in the base color. So you use your base and one color look. And then after that, there's a few other things that you can do to keep your eyes looking good. But, you know, hmm, switching up a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to use is um, Marshmallow. And that's like a white. I'm horrible at swatching. All right, there's that. And I am going to get a different brush. I'm going to take that marshmallow and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to take it up into the crease a little bit. And just like that. I'm going to blend it out. Maybe a little more. I'm going to do the other side really quick. So there, oops, one second. Okay, I'm just trying to blend it in to make it look like it goes with the other color. So then I just lighten the inner corners up a little bit. And that's giving you a still a neutral look. But I think when you lighten the inner corners up a little bit, um, just makes you look more awake, I guess, more like you're ready for the day, but that's just my personal opinion. But then to change it up even more, let's go into Taupe Taupe. Let's put that right on the damn white. Let's do that again. Okay, so there's that one. And I'm going to And take just a little bit and I'm going to put it over here and this crease right here. Take it up and down. Get a little more. Do it again. And as I'm taking it up and down, I'm also trying to blend it at the same time. Let's do the other side. It's been a while since I've um, done a tutorial, I guess this is what you'd call it. So to me, I want to add just a little more. I mean, I want to be able to see it. Not too much, but just enough. And then if you look really closely, you can see all three. Oh, shit. Alrighty. My husband called me, interrupted me recording. And then I thought that I started recording again. Like I brought it up, thought that I pushed play, but it didn't. So I went ahead and took that taupe taupe shade and I put it all the way to this white right here before when... I was showing you, um, like, it's darker here, a little bit lighter, and then a lot lighter. So I'm filling in that right there to kind of get it all one color now. Okay. So 
so that would be the third look is with the oh what is it ultimate tan kind of up here kind of like it's um being you know smoked out while well, i did smoke it out the best i could and then we have the marshmallow right here and then i took the taupe taupe and covered the whole entire thing to give it more of a darker look and then the last look that i can show you is i'm going to use deep soul and that is that color that's pretty a little patchy might be because the palette's so old we're gonna work with it either way so let me get i'm gonna grab another brush here i thought i had all the brushes i wanted but then i'm like oh no 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 <laughs> all right so i'm gonna pick up some of that deep soul if i said that wrong and i'm just gonna pat that right here i'm gonna take it all the way up to the very first shade and grab some more uh, pat some more. Now, I have small eyes, and they're hooded, so certain brushes go ahead and cover the whole area that I'm aiming for. I know some people have bigger eyes, and they have to, you know, go in a couple times. God, I'm totally off track now. I always think that when my husband calls me that it's important. He's working again. I forgot that he calls me when he's taking lunch. And because I forgot that, here I was recording during his lunch. So, I get off like, I get off topic, I forget. And then I feel like I sound like a damn fool. But I don't want to start all over again. Too stubborn to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to just wing it. Or what is it called? Fick it till you make it. <laughs> so I'm getting quite a bit of fallout with this darker, um, the deep sole. We'll have to clean that up best we can because i don't use concealer so it shouldn't be too hard okay so you can keep it like that dark or you can go in even darker and of course i'm gonna go in darker Okay, I think that is so pretty. Let me clean up that area. I'm just going to dust it up like so. Okay. Clean it, clean it. Okay. Alrighty, so that's mainly for my basic biatches out there. But if you like a sparkle to go with it, so I guess I'm going to show you five different looks because this is the fourth look. And then the fifth look, I'm going to use Champagne Chick because I got to have some sparkle. And that is right there. Oh, that's super shiny. Okay. Let me grab a, another, another brush. <laughs> now we're going to pick up a little bit of the Champagne, Champagne Chick. And I'm going to just layer that right here. Just take a little bit. And I'm going to kind of blend it the best I can. Same exactly a blendy brush. Pick up a little more and kind of go inward just a tad bit. And the sparkle is definitely falling. It's normally why I don't put my whole face makeup on. I just couldn't figure out how other, because I didn't want to show you all these eye looks and then show you no other, you know, my face, like, I guess not completely done yet. This was the best I could come up with. 
But if you do use concealer, so I'm told that it does help like cover everything a lot better. But when you don't use concealer because you think it makes you look older or it settles in your fine lines too much, you can take a wet wipe and just kind of clean it up a little bit. Do the whole thing under there. I put no highlight on, so should be fine. And then I'm also going to use this here to just clean up my look and just make it look a little nicer. And then I also take it. Like so, like so, and then I'm done. So let me know what you thought about my neutral, natural brown looks. And if there is a, another color you would like me to do, let me know. If there's multiple colors you'd like me to use together and give you different ideas, let me know that too. I have no problem doing the best that I can do to show you ideas of how you can do your makeup eyeshadow looks a little bit better. I do hope that you enjoyed watching me do this look. I apologize that I got interrupted and lost my track of mind and it kind of went downhill from there. I also hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember that I do love you. Remain awesome and peace out. Awesome crew.